Stop slicing your data with the filter. Instead, press Ctrl T to create a table. Click Insert Slicer. Choose an option to slice. Change the columns to 3. Grab and resize the slicer. Click any of the slicer buttons to filter the data. Hold down Shift to include multiple filters. Click the top right corner to clear all filters. Like and follow for daily tips. My boss is tired of typing out open and close. So, I showed him this. Select the entire column. Go to the Data tab. Click Data Validation. Choose List. Type in the drop-down list options. Click the drop-down button to select from the list. How cool is that? Like and follow for daily tips. Don't manually replace blank cells like this. Try this instead. K equals blanks. All done. I can't believe my co-worker was doing this. So I showed him this. Stop doing this. It's too time consuming. Instead, press control semicolon to insert the current date. Press Control Shift Semicolon to insert the current time. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop using your brain for true or false conditions. Instead, type out this function. Start with a logical test. Give a return value if it's true. Or something else if it's false. Easy as that. Don't copy and paste web data like this. Look at how messy this is. Instead, type in this. Copy the web address. Paste the URL here. That looks much better. And the data auto refreshes. Stop combining tables like this. Instead, go to the Data tab. Click Get Data. Go to Combine Queries and click Append. Choose the amount of tables to join. Then add each table. Rename the appended table. Close and load. Boom! Appended. New data also refreshes. Type this to calculate someone's age. Like and follow for daily tips. I caught my co-worker removing blank rows like this. So I showed them this. First select the entire range. Hit F5. Go to Special. Select all blanks. Press Ctrl plus minus to remove the selected rows.
Don't drag rows and columns like this. There is a better way. Press Ctrl plus A, then Alt H O I, and Alt H O A. Like and follow for daily tips. Press Alt F11. Go to the Insert tab. Click Module. Type in this code. Press the play button. Now you have a table of contents with clickable hyperlinks that take you to each tab. Like and follow for daily tips. Don't generate random teams like this. Instead, use this formula. Select the list of names. Select the list of names again. Select the headers. Press F9 to randomize the list until you're satisfied. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop guessing next year's home prices. Use this formula instead. Enter a target date. Select the list of values. Select the timeline. Here's a forecast in just seconds. Stop adding data manually. Start using AutoSum. Press ALF equals. It also works with multiple rows at once. It really works with any array. Boom! It's that easy. Don't make up data forecasts like this. Instead, click anywhere inside your data. Go to the Data tab. Click Forecast Sheet. Choose an end date. Now your forecast is automatically charted. You'll even get your forecasts in a tabular format. Stop manually extracting items from a list. Do this instead. Start with the unique function. Select the entire list of products. To sort the list alphabetically, use the sort function. To count how many times each item occurs in the list, use the COUNTIF function. Drag the formula down. Like and follow for daily tips. Press Ctrl and A. Create a new conditional format. Type in this formula. Change the format to any fill color. Create another conditional format. Type in this formula. Customize the format of the target cell.
One more thing. Go to View Code. Change General to Worksheet. Type in this code. Voila! Like and follow for daily tips. Stop doing lookups manually like this. Start doing this instead. Select the lookup value. Select the lookup vector. Press F4. Select the result vector. Press F4. Double click here. Like and follow for daily tips. Most people calculate weighted averages like this. But Excel experts calculate them like this. Select the values. Then select the weights. Bingo, that's it. Open Word. Click the Mailings tab. Click Start Mail Merge. Choose the Step-by-Step -step Mail Merge Wizard. Click Labels. Go to Step 2. Click Label Options. Find your label vendor and number. Go to Step 3. Click Use an Existing List. Click Browse. Find and open your Excel workbook with the addresses. Click OK. Go to Step 4. Click More Items. Insert each address field. Move the address fields like this. Click Update All Labels. Go to Step 6. The labels are ready to print. Like and follow for daily tips. Do not sum like this. Instead, enter this formula. Change criteria 1 and criteria 2, then watch the result auto update. Stop shifting old entries down for every new entry. Instead, right click the worksheet tab. Click View Code. Enter this code. Screenshot. Now. Go back to Excel. Add new entries to the top of the list. Watch the old entries get auto-shifted down for each new entry. Sweet, easy as pie. This is how I used to remove backgrounds from images. Here's how I do it now. All done. Stop filling blank spaces like this. There's a better way. Press Ctrl and A. Then F5. Go to Special. Then Blanks. Press OK. Type equals and press the up arrow. Press Ctrl and Enter. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop extracting first names like this. Automate it with this instead. Type in the text after function. Select the text. Type in the delimiter. Like and follow for daily tips. Stop extracting last names like this. 
automate it with this instead. Type in the text before function. Select the text. Type in the delimiter. Like in follow for daily tips. Stop converting text to proper format like this. Automate it with this instead. Type in the proper function. Select the text. Double click to copy the formula down. Boom! It's that easy. Like in follow for daily tips. Stop capitalizing text like this. Automate it with this instead. Type in the upper function. Select the text. Double click. Like and follow for more automating tips. Stop typing in all lowercase like this. Automate it with this instead. Type in the lower function. Select the text. Like and follow for more automation tips. Stop writing your signature in Excel like this. Go to the Insert tab. Click Pictures and choose this device. Select an image of your signature. Go to Color and choose Set Transparent Color. Click anywhere in the background. Like and follow for daily tips.